Do you get the reference? Do you get the reference? Do you get it? Do you get it? Laugh! You can't- Finally, we've got the Marvel Legends Green Goblin from uh, Marvel Legends. I ordered this from a place called Comics Talk and Cocktails, which is a bit... It, yeah, it's it's in England, so it took a bit. Plus, it was a pre-order, so it was even worse. So, yeah, we're just going to crack this thing open straight away. And So, why did I want this figure? It like It's a new mold for Green Goblin, uh, and it's a new figure that we haven't seen a figure of these, this kind of Green Goblin in years. The last one we got that's like a movie version was like the Sandman Builder figure version. Which is just the Toy Biz one repainted, I think. Which is, I think it's like a shirt of paint. It's like a dull green to, compared to the old release when it was like a metallic. This is a metallic. And I think this is one of my favourite figures I actually own right now. There is literally... What they did with this figure, I think, makes it one of my favourite uh, figures. Just the detail in the figure... I'm gonna give it 360 little pumpkin bonds in there as well. Um but yeah, the the all overall like the figure just looks great, right? In your collection, your figure has to look good in your collection. And I think he stands out amongst the other ones because he looks so detailed compared to the likes of Spider Man and stuff. Like if I grab this mm, far from home Spider Man, look how much detail he has compared to this Spider Man. Uh, yeah. But we're gonna move Green Goblin to the side for now. Because we're gonna take a look at his absolute beast of a glider. Uh, I think this glider is fucking fantastic. You can see all the mechanic mechanical details down the bottom. I have a problem with the stand. I feel like it's not the stand. It's just the... It's the... It's like the connecting bit. It's too weak. On my one. It's like every time I put Green Goblin on it. It'll slowly just tilt. And you just you just fall. So unless I probably, probably put some in there. That'll like stop it from moving so slowly. So like if I put Green Goblin on it. It'll just slowly do this. And it'll just, it'll just fall. This glider. Uh, I actually didn't get with the old Toy Biz one. Since the guy didn't have it. He had a different glider. But it's not the glider from... The old movie. It's kind of a newer one. Which is from Far From... Uh, from No Way Home. Not Far From Home. I'm getting fucking Far From Home from this guy right here. Um, but honestly, it doesn't matter. This glider is epic. I think the paint on this glider is insanely well done. Especially like all the purple. You can actually feel the different material when you actually touch the purple. You can see like the little small details there. It's very nice, a little bit dirt on there. Uh, the spikes are kind of sharp. Like, they're like kind of like rubber. But, like, they're sharp enough. Anyway. But they're rubber, so they won't, like, impale you. Anyway. Uh, but, yeah. That is the glider. I think the glider is sick. But, the main thing is this figure right here. I'm going to actually, like, get a close-up of his head. I'm... We haven't seen this helmet since the Toy Biz days, and I'm so happy to have a figure with this head sculpt on this type of figure, which is like a Marvel Legends, compared to the other one where it's a Toy Biz, where it doesn't have much articulation. I still like that figure. I think this one blows out of the way. The only thing that I complain about, I think I've seen a lot of people complain about, is the neck piece, that they should have removed it uh, and put the neck piece like with the helmet so it'd just be all green i mean i don't mind it because like i don't really see it too often like it doesn't really bother me you can also see all the purple little like thing it's cloth on them there's a little buckle thing and little all the yellow parts i don't really know what the yellow parts are i think they're like just probably armor or some shit all above his actual suit but yeah, then he also has a pumpkin bomb, which I'm struggling to get out of his hand. But honestly, if you told me, like, three, four years ago that we'd be getting this figure, I would have, like, I would have actually, like, 
not have believed you anyway. So, the main thing with these No Way Home figures, they're very popular. The likes of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, the Doctor Octopus figure, and this figure, they're very hard to get. Well, like, as of now, anyway, they're hard to get. Because online, half time, they don't ship until, like, later on this, this year, like, later on the month. I was lucky to get mine a few days ago. I think Green Goblin looks absolutely amazing. So, we're going to get to the articulation now. We're gonna, he has it does have a ball joint at the head, which makes him look up that far. And not so far down. Look left and right. He does have rotation at the arm, which makes him do that. And he can move it out. He does have a double bend at the elbow. And he does have wrist movement with wrist swivel and it goes up and down he has a waist rotation which is a waist swivel but it's not really helpful with the buckle thing in the way it kind of like limits the ro rotation somewhat uh some bit not too much his leg does move up that far and back barely because his, his big fucking ass is in the way his big ass uh then he does have a double bend at the knee and he does have a pivot as well. This this is probably one of the best Marvel Legends... Oh god, I've, I've dropped it. This is probably one of the best Marvel Legends head sculpts we've seen, I think. They've literally gotten the whole head sculpt right. I think I can actually take him out of his hood as well. If I can just get his head out real quick. There we go. Uh, yeah, and his goggles as well. Um, but yeah, this is literally like the likeness of Norman Osborn as well. The thing I wanted to try, but I just it quickly just didn't work, was the helmet with the hood. I think the helmet with the hood would have looked amazing. The hood is too small, so it can't work. The last thing we're getting into is the glider, how what he looks like when he gets put on it. So I have problems with this anyway, because half of the time he doesn't actually want to stay on it and he just falls off it. So I'm going to take the, you have to, I wouldn't say you have to take these off, but I'm going to take them off anyway, just to get an easier thing. So what you want to do is you want to grab his, whatever foot you have, there's a little peg right here, and there's a peg on the bottom of his foot, and you just want to clip that in, and you want to do that for both your, both of the Green Goblin feet. And then these two pegs right here will go into this peg. Well, this peg will go into that one. That one will go into this one. And you just want to, like, pose your figure. Stick that... Oh, fuck. You want to stick that peg in there. Maybe do a pivot. Put this um, in there. And that's what he looks like. I feel like this is probably my favourite Marvel Legends that I have at all. I think a close second would probably be Venom. Maybe the one from the film. This figure is amazing. If you can get this figure and you're a big fan of Marvel Legends, I would not miss out on this figure. This is a must-have for Marvel Legends, I think. They needed this, and they also needed the likes of the Marvel Legends line having Andrew Garfield and stuff. This figure and the Doctor Octopus are going to be the main two that are probably sold out a lot. Uh, I'm happy with this figure and I hope you're happy with this figure as well if you do have it. If there is some complaints, let me know about it. So that was the Marvel Legends Green Goblin. And honestly, if you haven't got this figure, you might as well just buy this figure. This is fucking amazing. Oh.